Hey, we're just getting started. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. What a day. It's supposed to be like in the 90s today. The line is just getting started back there. This is where we start to be trouble. We're around the corner, so we always try to start before we're around the corner because we're blocking the turn lane here. There's Central Community sign. We had that put in, I think, I don't know, 23, 24 years ago. People always say, I can't find your church. And I'm like, yeah, how do you miss that four acres on the corner with that great big sign? So here is the line for the day. It was so much fun walking the line, talking to people today, saying, where were you last week? And I got to say, I went fishing and I caught my limit, which that was even more fun. And right now, there are boats out there fishing and guys catching tuna, even as we walk the line. Morning. So you have the opportunity during this summer season to go fish for tuna. <laughs> I put, I don't know, 30 or 40 pounds of fillets in our big freezer thinking I would share some today. And Ken was moving around pallets and they're all the way at the back of the freezer. So we won't be climbing over pallets to get to them today. We've got pallets of food in there. Stuff moved all over the place. And I guess it's kind of a miracle that we get to do this week in and week out. And there's a miracle woman herself, Mary. Miracle Mary! How you doing, girl? Mary signs everyone up, makes sure that they get registered each week so that they're in our computer. This woman up here in the distance, you can see her. She's recruiting people for a counseling service or for her personal business or something. But she's such a nice lady that we... Hey, uh, good morning, how are you doing? How you I'm good, I went fishing last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was good, so I wasn't here. <laughs> Take care. So this gal is faithful as all get out with her work. I've been grass as you do. So we've always got someone. You build a crowd, and there are people who want to work. Your morning, people who want to work your crowd. So it's just kind of the deal. I saw the city won some five million dollar grant for something the other day and I thought how did we miss applying for that grant five million dollars we could have done it right here on the park I think about what a glorious work we could do out the morning we could do out there so we've got some grants in application right now for food we're already having to work on 2023 and it's just not normal for me to work a year in advance on stuff but this ministry has required it so those of you who have given generously from the very beginning we could not have done any of it without you sure that's what that orange thing means really that means that there's two families to go ah, in there okay, okay. okay. it's your first time Second time, yeah. That means two families will go in one car. Ah, okay. Okay? You. Good, you're welcome. See, now this is what a trunk looks like when it's full. They'll come in here, people bring stuff to fill it up, and then Mike's here filling up. Popsicles, look at that. We've got popsicles today. And there's some kind of organic popsicles with no sugar added. Here's all the food. Frosted mini wheat, strawberry fr That's a great cereal. Look at that. Yeah. We've got so much good food. I already gave from the other one. Here's plant-based chicken nuggets. Impossible chicken nuggets, Marty. They must be possible because there they are, right? More food, more popsicles. There's the girl herself! <laughs> So Ron and Patty are so faithful each week. Joshua, without his leadership, it would not have been possible. He's the guy. 
Now we're over here working our walk-up line. Thank you, girl. So, <laughs> in this forklift, this thing goes every single day. Thank you so much for donating. This freezer is nearly full. I think we pulled out two or three pallets for this morning, but other than that, it's nearly full. Other than we're talking about how to have shelves in there for a second layer of pallets. Big truck back there that goes nonstop for us. Pastor Ken, keeping things moving. May God richly bless you as you're a blessing to others today. To those of you who don't know how to donate and would like to donate to our work, you can go to 14jc.com. That's the number one, the number four, the letter J, the letter C, 14jc.com. There's a donate button there. Thank you for giving generously. I promise that what you give will go towards what we do. Um, God is good. He keeps on blessing us. And I can show you what's happened with food over here. Real quickly, let me kind of move a little bit more rapidly. Our big freezer, we can see what the temperature's set at now. Looks like it's draining some water here. Set it. Set points at zero, but it's at 31. Huh. Don't know why that's happening. And... We had 40,000 pounds of food donated. You might remember just two weeks ago, this was place was nearly full of just the food. This is the food that they're not supposed to use yet. As you can see, we're just storing it here. And then next week, they'll start pulling from that until everything's gone. You can see how there's today's baskets. There's a little deal up here saying what they fill up. Pallets are covering much of the list now. Thank you to Lottie Dottie for the donation of the chalk and the boards and those kinds of things. We keep food everywhere. If there is an open enclave, an open closet, some place that was once used for prayer is now being held for food. So God bless you. And just so we can haul pallet jacks through here now, we've broken through floor, broken through carpet, broken through everything. Steel lines all of these places. So God is good. We have the opportunity to do more for him. Thank you so much for being a part of it all.